Oh, whoa! Oh, hi there, my beautiful family. It's me, Seamus Plays. And, um... Earlier this week, there was a Nintendo Direct. And that Nintendo Direct revealed quite a bit of stuff. And I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna share my thoughts. I'm gonna... Okay, because... That, that was a lot. That, that was a lot to handle. It, it was great. I loved it. But it was just a lot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share all of my thoughts on every single game. I'm really excited for... Because this Nintendo Direct is incredible. Literally just... Just amazing. I mean... Well, we'll get into it later. So it started out with the Monster Hunter Rise DLC. And... I've never really been into Monster Hunter, but it kind of made me realize, like, how big of a series it is if they're willing to start a direct with it. And it's just a DLC for it, which is really interesting. Because I've never really thought of Monster Hunter as, like, a big series. But, I mean, I, I guess it's big enough for this many people to get hyped for it for them to show at the beginning, which they usually save for something massive at the beginning, like with Mario Maker 2 or a lot of the Smash characters or anything like that. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I've just, uh, I've never really been into it. Never, never been into it. But one thing I have been into is Mario Party. And, oh, this game, it, it looks just good. It just, it just looks like it will fill my heart with the happiness that I've been wanting since uh, Mario Party 8. I didn't even, like, I didn't even, like, get Mario Party 8, like, when it came out, I was, I was too young, but still, like, Mario Party 9, garbage, 10, garbage, Super Mario Party, decent, better, except for the fact that we had to play with tiny controllers, and it was, like, 6 rolls and 10 coins, but it's back to normal, it's back to normal, bringing us the greatest maps, it revealed Yoshi's Tropical Island, which is the number one map I've wanted ever since the game was announced, or released, or any- or Yeah, ever since the game was announced, Yoshi's Tropical Island was the number one map I wanted because of how much I loved it, and it, it got on there. <laughs> I'm super happy about it, and same with even Woody Woods, that was one map I was just- I didn't think would get on there, but I really wanted it, because that one- was definitely one of my favorites on Mario Party 3. Like, it was a... That's a good map. It's, it's, it's fun. And the, the map that surprised me most was actually Horror Land. I don't know why. I didn't really expect that one. Because I've really... I like Horror Land, but I've only heard, like, bad things about it. <laughs> I've only heard terrible things. Which is a little surprising to me. But, I'm yeah, I don't know. I did not think that was a popular map. But apparently is. And... I'm excited to play all of these, um, when the game comes out, because it, they're, oh, this game's, oh, it's back to normal, I'm so bad, I'm so glad, it's all back to normal, I'm so thankful, oh, Nintendo, you're amazing, I love you. After Mario Party, it kind of moved into this new game called Voice of Cards, and while we're, during the reaction, I didn't really care for it, I wasn't really paying much attention to it, but as I was, like, editing everything, it actually looks pretty good, to, to my opinion, it's, I like the idea of strictly cards as like the whole gimmick of the game like npcs and everything i wasn't i'm not a big fan of the battle system i don't like i don't like battle systems with luck unless it's like board game or anything like dungeons and dragons but like if it's a video game i think luck is stu i was just talking about how much i love mario party gosh but <laughs> such a hypocrite but i don't like luck in, in games when it comes to like battles if that makes sense so, this was, it looks interesting, but I think it would make a way better board game than it would video game. But still, I might try it out. It looks good. looks interesting. Then we moved to the Age of Calamity expansion pass, and at that point, I was a little tired of Age of Calamity stuff. Listen, it's a good game. I love it. The story's amazing, but I don't... There, it, this has just been every direct has been like, hey, guess what? We have more paid DLC for Age of Calamity, and we're all like, yay! You know, it's a it's a good game, but it does not does not need this much stuff. I don't 
really understand. You get to play as this girl, though. So that's cool, I think, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I mean, it's a good game, but I'm not getting the DLC for it just so I can play as these two people right here. Them two. I'm, I'm, I'm a little... <laughs> I mean, it's really not a DLC kind of game, to my opinion, but, you know, whatever. I mean, if it, if it makes people happy, I mean, I guess, go for it. Uh, after that, it went to, like, the whole Final Fantasy Chocobo racing game, and I don't think, <laughs> I don't think anyone was really necessarily expecting that to be a thing, because it's, it's chocobos, and they're, they're on roller skates, and they're flying around this race tracks with Vivi, and, and uh, whatever, the, the, the Japanese guy, or whatever. It's, it's weird. It's, it's a weird game that just, it kind of came out of nowhere. I wasn't, wasn't necessarily expecting a Final Fantasy Mario Kart game, but, I mean, I, I'll never pick it up, but it looks fun, I guess. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not much to say about a Chocobo racing game, but y you know. Oh yeah, but after that, we're we get into the big guns. This is where Nintendo revealed the craziest thing. Well, cr craziest is a word we'll use later, but well, just a massive, massive reveal for this direct. And it is so early, and it, it was just... Uh, so unexpected. I, I so it, it came on, and I thought it was like Splatoon 3. I was like, oh yeah, because whole post-apocalyptic thing was Splatoon 3. And then it just showed Kirby on the beach, and I was like, Kirby! I was like, yeah, you know, love Kirby, love Kirby games. I was, expect I was wanting a new one after Star Allies. And then Kirby started moving around, and it was 3D, and I, I kind of. I, I screamed a little bit, only a little, I wasn't actually that excited. WHAT IS 3D?! NO WAY! NO! YOU'RE KIDDING ME! The first 3D Kirby game! It- WHAT?! But it was- it looks- it looks so good. It, it looks really good. Because... 3D Kirby, not definitely something like I would have never ever expected in a bajillion years for for this direct, and it just it's just out of nowhere. But it's it looks so good. It looks cool. The post-apocalyptic theme is a little strange. But it looks good. Kirby. 3D Kirby. That's such uh, it's new. It's new, it's something new. I'm so excited, it's gonna be so good. I, 3D Kirby. Like the combat and the open world looks just really great I don't I don't know man it's it's 3d Kirby. how can you not be excited for 3d Kirby like, it, it's just gonna even if it's not good it's a test like it's a test run it's so no matter what in the future they'll make another 3d Kirby game and fix everything but if it is good then that's even more 3d Kirby games we get to look forward to that are just as good as that because I mean, 3D Kirby, it's, it's, it's new, it's crazy, it's gonna be so good! Oh, but I, I did forget to talk about, uh, right before Kirby was a little thing, Sakurai, standing there, and he was like, Hey, you like Smash? Because this will be my final fighter, October 5th, and it was like, oh, okay, a new direct. <laughs> well, so, yeah, October 5th, final fighter, that's gonna be, I, oh, Goku, it's, it's gonna be. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good, good, uh, it's gonna be a good thing. It's gonna be good. So after Kirby and Smash, uh, it went into this Animal Crossing thing and revealed Brewster just off the bat. Revealed that the Roost was coming back with Brewster. So that's extremely exciting for me. It's gonna be airing in October, and the fact that they revealed Brewster even before the direct was a thing for Animal Crossing, it's just like, yeah, that's gonna be a big direct. That's gonna be good. I'm, <laughs> I'm super excited about about Brewster in a new direct. It's just, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be really, really good. 
So, like, after that, it, uh, after a few games, like, Triangle Strategy and Dying Light, which I, to be honest, I don't really care about, especially not Triangle Strategy. Okay, they had to keep the name for Triangle Strategy. They couldn't change that. They couldn't change the worst name of all time for Triangle Strategy. You had to... You had to stick with Triangle Strategy. You had to stick okay. Then it moved on to Metroid Dread, and I am not into Metroid personally. But this game looks really, really good. It looks good. It might- I might get into Metroid because of this game. Because I've never played Super Metroid- never played any Metroid. But it looks good. Like, Metroid Dread looks like a good game. If- I don't know if it, that'll be, like, story-wise, like, oh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't make this my first Metroid game, but at the same time, it's Metroid Dread. I mean, come on, it's a new Metroid game. Why not? Why not just make it your first? And if I like it, then I'll start over from the beginning, because it, it looks good. I'm not going to pre-order anything, but I'm I'm thinking about picking it up, because I definitely want to get into Metroid, and people are very, apparently very excited about this game. So, it looks good. I'll try it. Why not? Metroid. Samus. Samus is cool. So, after Metroid Dread, it kind of, to my opinion, moved into the, um, the, I'm not going to say the craziest, because it wasn't the craziest yet, but my, my favorite, absolute my favorite part of the Direct, is because it announced Nintendo 64 on Nintendo Switch! How cool is that? It has Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Mario 64, Paper Mario, Banjo-Kazooie, Kirby 64, a ton of great games. Nintendo 64 on Switch. It's just exciting. I've always wanted to play Ocarina of Time on my Switch. I've never, ever played Majora's Mask, ever. So that's going to be fun. I'm just really wanting them to put all of the original Mario parties on it. I don't know if they will, though, because of all the lawsuits and everything. But if they did, I'd be... One happy duck, because the only time I can play the original Mario Parties, other than Mario Party 2, is when I'm with Tater and his family, because they have, like, the original Nintendo 64 versions. No! It looks good! Like, N N Nintendo 64! On, on Switch. And Sega! That was surprising! Sega Genesis- that was just... Really out of nowhere to have Sega Genesis on there. And, like, it's a little weird since, like... You know, Nintendo doesn't really necessarily own Sega. Because, <laughs> you know, that's how companies work. But that's cool. Sonic. I like old Sonic games. They're fun. Really fun. I'm... I bet Caden. Caden. Kanek. You're watching. I, I know you're excited about that. No. I'm, I'm mainly... Yeah, just Banjo-Kazooie. Ocarina of Time. It's gonna be great. This is Nintendo 64. Sega. On Switch. That's just... It's just incredible. So, after that, that's where it moved into what I think was the craziest part of the Nintendo Direct, and it, it was the Mario movie, and Miyamoto just kind of walked out, and he's like, hey, sorry, you mind if I talk for a second? Yoshiaki Koizumi was like, yeah, go ahead. Miyamoto was like, hey, so, um, Illumination's making Mario movie, and I was like, oh, yeah, and they were like... So here's the cast, and then just BAM! Chris Pratt! Chris Pratt is Mario! And I was like... <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited, Chris Pratt's easily my favorite actor ever. So, but I... I Mario, he's Mario. I don't... <laughs> I mean, I don't really understand how that's gonna work. Is Chris Pratt gonna be doing the yahoos and yippees, you know, as Mario? Or is he just gonna be like his stereotypical happy Chris Pratt? main character like he was in Lego Movie or whatever. It's weird. Very weird that he's Mario. That's very strange. Very, very strange. I don't really know who uh, Anna Joy Taylor is, but she's Peach apparently, and everyone was a little weirded out that she was Peach for some reason. But then it went to Charlie Day, which I, I didn't know who he was until I kind of looked at the memes. Apparently he's that guy on that meme with the strings. And he's like, it's all connecting, you know, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. He's like, it's all connecting together. And I heard his voice, and I was like, that's Luigi. I was like, that, that guy is, he's playing, <laughs> he's playing Luigi. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Wonderful. 
and, and then it moved to easily, easily just the greatest part about it all, it, it, Jack Black. Jack, Jack Black's playing Bowser. Jack Black is, he's playing Bowser. How's that gonna, how's that gonna work? I, <laughs> I really, I love Jack Black, but I really can't imagine him as Bowser. I really can't. Is it gonna be stereotypical looking Bowser? Is, is Bowser just gonna be like really funky now? And now for some reason every time I read Bowser's text in like Paper Mario, I'm only gonna imagine Jack's, Jack Black's voice. Only. I don't, how's Bowser gonna be, like how's Jack Black gonna be Bowser? Cause they're kind of on opposite sides of the spectrum. But I mean, I trust it. I, I see. I, I think it's gonna work. It's gonna be good. I love, love me some Jack Black. Anything he does is great. So I'm, I'm gonna trust the process. Definitely. Definitely made me laugh quite a bit seeing Jack Black as Bowser. I, I'm still, honestly, like ever since the direct ended, I've woken up every day. I'm like, was that real? Yeah. No, that was definitely a real thing that happened. Jack Black playing Bowser. <laughs> it works. It really does. It doesn't, but it, it does. And like Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. That that makes total sense. I, I can see that. I just don't really know how to imagine Donkey Kong beating on his chest and with Seth Rogen's laugh. That's gonna be a little strange. No, it makes sense. You know, I can see that. And Splatoon 3, which I'm not the biggest Splatoon fan, but I know a lot of people are. It, it definitely, like, it looks like a good Splatoon game, you know? Has like the Super Saiyan Splatoons and the new weapons. The story mode with the mammals is really interesting. I don't know. It, it looks interesting. I'm, I'm not gonna pick it up. But it, it does look interesting. Because. I mean, mammals and Splatoon. Like, wasn't there like that one cat? And then everyone's freaking out. There's like, oh my gosh, oh, the only mammal! And yeah. No, I'm not gonna pick it up, but weird. Looks, looks strange. Looks good for people who are Splatoon fans. So, I'm happy for. All the Splatoon fans out there that are excited. And then finally, it went on to Bayonetta 3, which, I mean, shocker, you know, I think everyone really, I think everyone expected Bayonetta 3 to be on this direct, and if it wasn't, that would be just a huge kick in the balls for any Bayonetta fan, <laughs> so. But no, Bayonetta 3, I've never been into Bayonetta games. To be honest, they look a little too flashy for me, but I mean, it definitely looks good for Bayonetta fans, like, like Splatoon, it looks good for Bayonetta fans, people, it's getting a really positive reaction, which I'm really happy that people are excited for it, you know, it's, it's their, their equivalent to my Pikmin 4 kind of thing, yeah, no, Bayonetta 3, it looks good, looks good for people, I'm happy for them, but that was the end of the direct, and honestly, it was just incredible, that was a good direct, that was really good, I, if I, if I had to rate it, it'd be like a solid 9 out of 10, just, just for how many crazy reveals and Jack Blacks and everything that are in it. It's, that was a good direct. I'm satisfied. I'm really happy. I just, I can't wait to see more about the Kirby. I, can't, I cannot wait. Like, 2022, that's gonna be such a good year. That's gonna be a really good year for video games. Animal Crossing and the Smash, probably this final Smash character coming out, and Kirby and Breath of the Wild, and Splatoon. It's. Yeah. No, that direct really changed everything for 2022. And I've. Oh, that, that. I've never. I haven't been more excited in a while. Since like 2017 for Nintendo Switch games. I've not been that excited in a while. Good year! It's gonna be a good year. Did you enjoy the direct as much as I did, or did you think it was lame saying, seeing as there was no Breath of the Wild 2 or Pirate Warriors 4 DLC? I don't know why I said Pirate Warriors 4 DLC. I was looking at a One Piece wanted poster that's hung up in my room. And it kinda made me thought about it. Anyway, let me know how you feel about the direct. Were you happy? Sad? What was your favorite reveal about the Direct? What was the craziest reveal of the Direct, in your opinion? Uh, mine was definitely Mario Movie. Strange, strange reveal. Anyway, 
If you did enjoy it, let me know. And thank you for watching. Now, if you excuse me, I am going to regret the $50 that I've spent on virtual console games on the Wii U that are now coming to Nintendo Switch. Love you guys, goodbye.